Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the Red Wiggler Only Bins. I've left the covers off in hopes that they will dry out a little bit. Um, the springtails don't appear to be less springy, but it does look drier. So that's, that's something, at least accomplishing something, um, even if it's not getting rid of the, the springtails. Alright, I didn't look at the video, so we're going to have to dig around and see what I did with the food. Um, oh, I got a brand new cocoon, right, maybe, no, right, right there. It's bright yellow, that's how you know if it's new or if it's been laid a long, long time ago. Not seeing any food. They've been out here for over a week uncovered. I was really hoping to see more progress with the uh, springtails as well as the drying out of the bin. I don't know, maybe there's less springtails. I don't know how long springtails live. Uh, if anybody does know, put that in the comments below. And also, if anybody has managed to get rid of springtails or or something, I know that there's sticky traps and whatnot that you can get. Um, it's hard to tell. Maybe they're getting better, maybe they're not. I don't know. Yeah. I'd ha be happy with none. So, let me get them some food and some neem cake. Alright. Let's let's do the neem cake first. Just do the normal handful here. Kind of incorporate that so it gets to be a part of more of the bin than not. I actually saw online when I was looking on ways to get rid of them that people actually sell springtails to live in a, uh, terrariums to do the cleanup work, like get rid of the mold and get rid of uh, any dead anything. I could be sitting on a gold mine here. Alright, so I'm going to give them some banana and tea, more banana, and then I'm going to cover them up. So just looking at the size of the worms that we have in here. That one's immature. That one's just maturing. Not a lot of really big worms in here. Just, you know, putting them next to my hand. I don't see a lot that are fishing worthy, let's put it that way. No uh, no worms that I would show my to my fish. All right, let's look over at the horizontal bin and see what we have. Okay, here is the horizontal bin. Looks like I've got some sprouts. I don't know if I can tell if the springtails are less or not. Big mango seed. They seem ever so slightly less insanely jumpy. So maybe, maybe I'm getting somewhere. You can see them right here in this tea bag. All the little white jumpy things. Not seeing much of the feeding, just some avocado pits, mango pits. It's getting a little drier. I think that dryness is is something that also mitigates springtail activity. So hopefully if the neem cake doesn't get them, the dryness will. Okay. 
this gets uh, they're starting to get clumpy. So that is my main reason for trying to dry this out. It's been a week. Uh, I'm gonna have to order more meme cake. I'm going through a lot more than I normally do. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I do have an Amazon store. If you look at the link below, underneath the comment, or under the information section, you can, uh, if you want to buy things that are the same thing that I use in my wormery, I have them linked below. The channel does get a little commission um, if you do buy something from the link. Um, not a lot. Pennies. So let's see, that's, that's some food for them. So the, ne the neem cake that I use is in there as is the shredder for my paper. So let's get them some food. Okay, got some bread. Bury that a little deeper. Make sure the bread's covered up. Hopefully that'll sop up some of the moisture. And go pit put in there. All right. And then just looking at the worms here, I don't know, they seem to be about the same size. These are red wigglers, so they're not huge worms to begin with. Certainly not these. Uh, kind of the unofficial part of this experiment is that I have them in a horizontal and a vertical bin just to kind of see a little bit, you know, do, you know, does one versus the other with the same volume, do they get bigger or not? Um, so far, I think they're about the same, um, but who knows? Let me know if you have an opinion down below if you think these were bigger than the, the bin you saw before. Alright guys, well that's all we've got for the Red Wigglers today. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.